Michelle. Hi. We're here in Eugene, Oregon. We are. You're living in a camper in a church parking lot. I am. Tell me about that. Um, well, I had an apartment for about six months and um, didn't work out so well. So it, it was a mutual termination and I couldn't find an apartment in the time that I had before I was to move out. So um, I did the next best thing. I looked for an RV on Craigslist. I had to have a roof for my kids for a little bit longer. And um, last time I was homeless, it, 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 I had the van. And um, it, it was okay, but for four people it was a little tight. So I figured, you know, I, I'd have electricity, I'd have all that. I grew up in a mobile home, so an RV wasn't gonna be so hard. So I thought. It, it's, when they're bigger, it's harder because it's tighter. But um, um, we're doing it. We took off for the, for the mountains um, for a while and uh, tried that and didn't work out so well. It was beautiful. Um, would you think the weather's bad here? <laughs> the weather up there is more unpredictable. We woke up to about two inches of snow one morning and we started a fire and it was beautiful, but um, it was too much to get the kids to the actual school bus stop because we were not on the school bus, I mean, the bus line. So, um, how many kids? Uh, I have four all together, two are grown, I guess you might call them grown. Um, they got one that's about to be 18 on the 12th of July and Mr. Fisherman, which is the nine-year-old. So, um, yeah, I have two left. And you're saying your your income was cut by a third because of health issues? It, it was. I, I've been putting myself on the back burner um, for a lot of years, you know, taking care of the kids. And um, I've had three jobs at one point. Uh, this time, you know, something started hurting me in my legs and I just said, forget it. I'm, I'm not thinking about anybody but myself and um, went to the doctor the next day. Well, before you found this parking program, what, what was it like? It was stressful. It was stressful because I didn't want to do the whole um, moving around town. You know, just, you know, oh, this, this spot's okay to sleep. Or, you know, we can only be here for a little bit of time. Um, so I, I really didn't want to do that. That's a whole one of the reasons why I took off to the mountains, because I just wanted to park it and be. That's just I just wanted to to be, and not be bothered and and ridiculed when you know facts are not even they're not even apparent. But um, um, yeah, um. So what's your future like? What are you doing to get out of this? Oh, um, actually my son is ADHD, the nine-year-old, and I applied for SSI for him and I both because they, they couldn't figure out what it was that was causing the pain. And, and I've been having pain in my neck and my shoulders for about 15 years now. So I knew it was gonna come to a head eventually. And um, so I decided to file for SSI for both of us and um, trying to get a lawyer for a child is, is really really difficult um, it took me about five or six phone calls before I found one that would take a child it would take me but not him and um, that's not what I needed so um, depending on what the outcome of that um, I have to stay off for a full year, which I'm still going to physical therapy and such, um, in order for my SSI case to persevere. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, a home, um, I don't need much. I, I really don't need much, I, I don't even, um, I can't even think of anything besides that. So, um, the other things are 
all really easy, doable. Um, well, thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome.